What's up guys, my name is Brandon and you guys can call me Swifters and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's Fortnite video, I've got something super awesome for you all because we're going to be taking a look at 5 things that were actually removed from Fortnite Battle Royale. Now before we do get started with today's video, be sure to let me know in the comments section below what level you guys are currently at in Fortnite. Also, make sure to watch this entire video because at the end, I'm going to be letting you guys know how you can get free V-Bucks to purchase free character skins and other awesome customization options in the game. So guys, with that being said, let's get started with today's video taking a look at 5 things that were removed from Fortnite of Battle Royale. Now the first thing that's been removed from Fortnite and is currently no longer in the game is the blue jump pad. This is different from the purple launch pad which has since been added because the purple launch pad not only causes your character to jump higher, but it also causes your character to pull out their glider again. Now the blue jump pad is really cool because although it doesn't make your character jump very high, if you use it to jump off of a high structure when you land on the ground, you don't actually lose any damage which is pretty cool, but let me know in the comments comment section below if you guys are bummed at the fact that the jump pad has now been removed or replaced by the launch pad. Personally, I never truly took advantage of the jump pad, the blue directional jump pad when it was added in the game, and I've been using the purple launch pad ever since because obviously that blue jump pad is no longer available. But regardless, let me know in the comment section below if you guys prefer the purple launch pad or the blue jump pad. Now another item that has since been removed from Fortnite is yet another placeable item and that is the ceiling traps or the wall traps as well. So these two items are no longer in the game and they've actually been replaced by the spike traps. Now for those of you who don't know the spike traps or the floor traps have been added ever since the game was first released. But originally you can only place those spike traps on the ground as they were known as floor spikes. Unfortunately, the floor spikes are now the only trap left in the game. As you guys can see, that ceiling trap is actually no longer in the game. There was also another electric trap that instead of putting on the ceiling, you could actually put on the wall. But these two wall and ceiling traps are no longer in the game and they've now been replaced by the floor spikes. And instead of the floor spikes only originally being able to be put on the floor, you can now place the floor spikes on ceilings and on walls. So that's super awesome. The thing that I both both liked and disliked about the ceiling and the wall traps was that because they killed people with an electric shock, you could hear sort of an electric force field around them, so that alerted you to not go in a particular house if you heard the electricity, whereas with the spike traps, you can't hear them, so the only way that you can know that they're there is if you see them, so that's helpful when you're trying to defend yourself against enemies, but it's really unfortunate when you walk into a house, you don't see that spike trap, and you end up dying. Now the third item that's been removed and is no longer in Fortnite is actually a weapon and this weapon was so OP and that was the Zapatron. There is such limited gameplay of the Zapatron on YouTube because it's so hard to find. This weapon was one of the most rare in the game and it is literally a laser sniper. It kills enemies so quickly and this was something that was taken out of the game at a very very early stage. Not many people were actually able to get this gun because it was taken out at such an early stage and I'm not entirely sure why the developers decided to remove it. I could only assume it's because they thought that it was too overpowered because honestly it is. It can kill people even if you have 100 shield and 100 health. This weapon was just a little bit too overpowered which is why the developers may have decided to remove it from the game but I'm very hopeful that in the future we may start to receive additional weapons that are extremely extremely rare that are very difficult to find in the game. Now the next thing that's been removed from the game is not necessarily an item, more so it's a feature and it's regarding a sniper. This is actually a very recent thing that was removed and for those of you who may or may not remember, if you have a bolt action sniper and you scope in, if you shoot at an enemy and you miss, or even if you hit them and you need to reload your sniper, you actually need to unscope from the sniper and that's going to go ahead and reload a bullet. Originally, you were actually able to continuously be 
scoped in, and if you shot, you would reload while staying scoped in the rifle. But unfortunately, that's no longer the case, and once you shoot a bullet, you actually need to unscope from the rifle in order to actually reload. This is something that actually took me a little bit of time to get used to because I was so used to sniping in with a bolt action rifle, being able to reload while staying scoped, and then obviously it was updated, and then you had to actually unscope from the rifle in order for it to actually reload. Now the final thing I wanted to touch on in today's video that's actually been removed from Fortnite is the pumpkin rocket launcher. Of course, this was a seasonal launcher for the Fortnite Mirrors update, but with this pumpkin rocket launcher, you could actually rocket ride. This was something that was so fun to use. It was such an overpowered thing because a lot of enemies wouldn't actually know that your character is riding the rocket that's being shot at them. So this was something that people definitely took advantage of when it came to surprise attacking enemies, sneaking up on them, especially if the enemies had a height advantage and they were up on top of a hill. Rocket riding unfortunately is no longer in the game because this pumpkin launcher has since been removed, but hopefully, just hopefully, in an upcoming update we're going to receive something similar to the pumpkin launcher that allows us to go ahead and rocket ride yet again. So guys, there you have it. Those were five things that were removed from Fortnite ever since the release of the Battle Royale mode. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any other items that have since been removed since the launch of this game, and I may just make a part two to this video. Now, as I mentioned before, if you guys are watching this video right now, I want you guys to go ahead and comment free V-Bucks in the comment section below, because I'm going to be letting you guys know how you can get free V-Bucks to get free character skins and other customization options right here right now so in order to do so what you guys need to do is click the very top link in the description below it's gonna go ahead and take you to an application known as feature points this is an app that allows you guys to download and play games once you guys download and play these games you're gonna be rewarded with coins the more games that you download means the more coins that you get the more coins that you get means the more rewards you can buy the more rewards that you can buy obviously it means the more V bucks you can get and you guys can go ahead and get those character skins and other customization options there are a ton of super awesome rewards like paypal money amazon money psn and xbox live cards so make sure that you guys click the very top link in the description below go ahead and play those games get those free v bucks this is the method that i use to get all of my character skins that i'm playing with so it's definitely something that works it may take a little bit of time but if you guys were to sit down watch some tv and do this for about an hour long you're you're gonna be able to make upwards of 20 to 30 dollars it's something that's super easy and it takes literally a minimal to no effort it is free money you guys are gonna be missing out on free money if you guys do not do this so as I said click the top link in the description below and get to it but regardless guys that's gonna be it for today's video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did please be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new with all of that being said I'll be sure to catch you guys later